In this quick video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can access all of your computer files from your iPad. You see, the iPads do not have a modern day uh, desktop finder, Windows file manager, whatever you call it, where you store your documents. It doesn't have one of those. But instead, what you got to do is you got to embrace the cloud. And you choose a cloud service to store your files from your computer, and you copy your documents to the cloud server, and then they can be accessed. So what the heck am I talking about? Let me just draw you a quick little illustration to demonstrate. So pretend that this is here is your computer, which you're normally used to using to work on all your files, right? Well, what you do is you choose a cloud-based service, and you copy all of your documents up to the cloud. And there's a bunch of services out there available. Google has one called uh, Google Drive and there's Dropbox very popular and Apple has their own iCloud and even Microsoft has one called OneDrive. So once you put your files on any one of those services you can then access those documents from any other device like your iPhone and like your iPad, okay, and you get to work with them. And you just easily access them easily. They download to your iPad, you do your work, and then when you're done, you put them back up on the server, and then they can come back down, and you can access it back to another computer again. And in a nutshell, that's how uh, cloud-based services work. So here are the four most popular iCloud services. You have uh, Apple has their own iCloud. So if you are totally into Apple, um, you're a Mac guy for Mac everything, computers, and you use all their programs like Keynote and and uh, and Pages, you will probably do well by choosing iCloud for your storage because it automatically syncs between your iPads and your computer. Um, if you are in the in the Windows world, PC user, and you use Microsoft Office. Uh, you might want to subscribe to OneDrive because it syncs perfectly with all of the Microsoft Office suite of applications between your computers and your iPad. If you are a Chromebook user, you will definitely be using Google Drive because that's what basically it is. But Google Drive can also be accessed from a Windows computer as well as a Mac. I use it all the time on my Mac and I love it. And um, I access Google Drive on my iPad now all the time, and it works perfectly. So Google Drive is an all-around winner for every, any type of platform, whether it be Chromebooks, or Chrome OS, or Mac, or Windows. And Dropbox is another very popular service, and uh, a lot of people use it. I use it as my main uh, backup solution currently, and um, that you can upload any type of document you want. So let me show you exactly how that would work. So if I'm going to switch over really quick here to and open up Dropbox. So this is what Dropbox looks like and this essentially becomes your your desktop. Your, like your desktop finder where you're normally used to seeing all of your documents. And like I said, I copied all these things from my computer and now I can access them here. And it's wonderful. I can click this little top menu and I can choose sort by and I can sort by date, by name, by size, just like a, just like a computer. And the great thing about this thing is is the searching feature is phenomenal. Uh, on the top you can do a search and uh, you can find spell. Yeah, financial benefits, that's what I was looking for right here. Look how fast it comes right up really fast and on the right side gives you a preview and this is actually a, a Microsoft Word document format and so if I were to work on this on my iPad what you have to do is you kind of have to download it to your iPad, you work with it, and then you can move it right back up to Dropbox. So if I click on the three dots in the upper right corner of the screen, to the right of the garbage can icon, menu pops down, and I can choose Export. And now I can click on the icon that says Open In, little A icon in the lower right. But when I do that, I can now choose what apps that I put on my iPad that I want to work with and use use for editing this document. So I can use Pages. This is red icon. WPS Office is like a Microsoft Office, and or I can use Google 
docs, that blue icon. And let's choose um, let's use Apple Pages. So quickly imports. There it is. I get a notification that this font isn't installed. Big deal. I click on that. And now here I can easily uh, work and edit this document. So I can do what I got to do with this thing on my iPad. And I'm so happy because it's so fast and easy. And I have a good old time just working. So when I'm done, what I could do is click on those three dots in the upper right corner of the screen again. And I can send a copy, email it, print it, do what I got to do with this document. And when I'm done, what I like to do is I like to put it back to Dropbox and put it back where I found it. And then I take it off of this computer. So I can choose send a copy and let's keep it in Microsoft Word. So I'll click on the lower left uh, square, Microsoft Word. And from here, I can choose import with Dropbox. And I choose that. And now I just simply have to hit save. And it's going to ask me, do you want to replace it? Because there's a file with that same name in the same spot, just like a computer. Hit replace, and it's done. Okay. So now, once I do that, I actually go back to Pages here, and I delete this off of my um, off my iPad because I don't want to. I don't want to keep a separate copy here. I get confused, so I just simply get rid of it and I delete it from here. Because actually, because I'm using this program and I'm using iCloud as well, it's backing up on all of my devices. But I just took that completely off. Okay, so that's how cloud computing works. So you have, uh, you can use all of them. I use uh, Drive. Uh, every one of these services gives you uh, an amount of free space that you can test, test it out and try out, see which one you like the best. And um, they all cost about the same, uh, you know, look up pricing wise, uh, they're all about a hundred dollars a year for for a terabyte of, of of disk space, which is tons. So so take a look and try try one of these services. I think you'd be really happy with um, with any one of these. My particular favorites are Dropbox and and this one here, which is which is Google Drive, because um, I just love everything Google. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and I hope you subscribe to my videos so that you can see more and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.